So this is the laser light that I've discovered coming out of the front of my new phone anytime that it's turned on. And now I'm going to go show you some stuff about optogenetics. And what this could actually be. But right now I'm going to back away and you notice the flicker rate will decrease. But here I'm getting closer. There, it's direct on the camera lens. As I back away, you can see the flicker rate is high and then it'll decrease and get slower. There you go. And as I'm backing away, the lights are out in my bathroom <clears throat> and it goes out of sight at the edge of the counter as I'm about to turn the lights on right here. It just went out of sight. That was at the edge of the counter, right here. With the lights on, if it would focus. Anyway, with the lights on, you can see it at about the same distance. And this is going right into your optic nerve, and that's about the edge of the counter where you lose sight of it. And because it's ultraviolet, it might be kind of like those lasers that they use to take your temperature, which actually goes right through. You see how it increases flicker rate right there. It goes from quick to slow at that distance right there. From slow to quick. And then I'll back up a little bit and it'll go back to slow again. See the flicker rate difference? Keep that in mind. Frequencies matter a lot. So I'm about to show you some screenshots from the link in the description that includes a video, a 1 minute 38 second video, along with an article written by the Washington Post titled, Scientists Use Light to turn mice into stone cold killers. And I'm gonna show you some images from that video here in a moment. And just as a side note, a movie from 2007 A mysterious transmission that turns people into killers invades every cell phone, radio, and television. Samuel L. Jackson, people turned into zombies using the cell phone through a, tr a mysterious transmission. Let's look at some images from the link that'll be in the description where you can watch the entire video. Scientists used light to turn mice into stone cold killers. And notice this laser that goes into the top of his head? They call it a laser and the instant it turns on, the mouse attacks. And they show you multiple objects where right now the light is turned off and the mouse shows very little interest in this inanimate object, a piece of wire. They turn the light on, and the mouse attacks. And they show you this with multiple different instances. A live cricket. He goes to the other side of the uh, cage and shows no interest in the cricket when the light is turned off. Then they turn the light on, and he chases the cricket around and attacks it as it runs around the cage. They do it with a fake bug. For some reason, the light on my screen turned down, but they do it with a fake bug. The mouse has no interest, goes away from it, turn the light on, the mouse attacks instantly. And you can watch the very instant they turn the light on, and they call it a laser. Optogenetics is the manipulation of neurons using light. Scientists targeted the neurons that control predatory hunting. Don't worry, scientists aren't trying to create monsters. They say they just want to learn about brain networks. Mouse has no interest. Turn the light on. Oh, there it is, too. It says in the upper corner, laser off. Mouse shows no interest. Laser on. Mouse attacks. And so this whole time, while I'm sitting here with this pointed at my face, 
the laser is going in through your optic nerve. Again, notice the flicker rate. It doesn't do it here. It was doing it before. We'll talk about the flicker rate later. But I'm going to turn the phone off now. Show you how small this is compared to the head of a pin. And there's actually another one. Here's the phone diode, the camera. Here's the laser. And then there's another one right by the camera. And the only way to be able to see them without it flickering like that is to get the angle of the light just right to where it reflects. So let me get that just right. And then we'll turn the phone on and watch the laser come on. I believe it actually has this red diode right here beside the laser. There's a little red diode that you can see right there. But the tip of the the diode is at the tip of my pen and the laser is actually right beside it. The laser is not actually coming from that little red diode right there. You can see the red dot right next to the flickering purple. The red dot on the left is the diode that I can see with the naked eye. Red dot right here. The laser is actually coming out right next to it. It's not even actually coming from that diode. There's another one of these diodes over right next to the camera lens. But you can clearly see that the flickering laser is coming from a place beside the diode. So now we'll come over here and look at one that's right here next to this one. Here you can see it. Right there at the tip of my pen. Beside the other one. The, the larger one is a camera lens. The smaller one is a diode that can only be seen when you get the when you get the shadow and the lighting at just the right angle. Here you can see the diode is right there at the tip of the pen. That one is approximately the same size. Barely visible to the naked eye as the one that's over here beside the flashing purple dot. Because I've turned the phone upside down compared to where it was before, the diode is actually just up and to the right of the purple dot.
My bad, maybe not. <laughs> nope, there it is. The diode is here. The purple dot is here. The purple dot is not coming from that diode. The purple dot is a bluish laser, a lot like what we saw them using on those mice. So right now you can see the reflection of the light that's coming off the roof in the red diode next to the blinking purple light just because I have it at just the right angle where the light from the room is actually what you're seeing coming from just to the left of the purple blinking light. Hold on. You see, I've just covered the one the one diode with my shadow. Now I've uncovered it. Now I've covered it with my shadow. Now I've covered it, uh, uncovered it. Because of the positioning of the camera, the diode is now directly below the blinking purple light. See there, the blinking just slowed down. <clears throat> now when I go closer, it'll speed up again. See, now it's going faster. And I'll back off and it'll slow down again. Now it's blinking slower. It has a higher frequency at closer range and a lower frequency at further range or at least that's what we're picking up here but the question is why is this there at all 
when I flip it around and see if my other phone has one, it doesn't. So this is not necessary for standard communications. This is the cheapest $40 phone that you can get at Walmart on their track phone. There, you can kind of see the lens flare that almost shows you the shape of the bulb. Is that a high-powered laser going straight into your dome? Even when I'm backed off this far and you can see the other features of the phone, you can still see the laser reaching up from that dot. I'm sure it's not doing nothing. It's probably just for 5G. <laughs> or maybe Samuel L. Jackson was right, and the signal's going out right here in the Li Fi, blue Li Fi, like Wi Fi except using light. And they use the transmission of information on light waves instead of fiber optic cable cables. They do it directly through the light waves. And they are downloading it straight to your dome through the ultraviolet just outside your visible spectrum. But you're still picking it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dee 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 They're doing Morse code into your dome, man. Morse code to the dome. See, it speeds up right there. Slows down right there. Speeds up there. Whoa, man, it's tripping me out. 